Hi, here's how to add a widget or app to your personal learning environment. Essential widgets are what we're after. They allow us to create our own widgets. First of all, I'm going to click on this button, Add Content. Uh, Essential widgets is what I'm after. And in order to link to a website, I'm going to choose Link Module. Now I found a website that has some really good information about recruiting during World War I and uh, that's what I'm after. So I've already uh, copied the URL or the web address and I'm going to paste it into here. Don't forget to save. And here's the widget uh, finished. Sometimes, like this one, you get a, a little thumbnail of what the page actually looks like. And that, to me, is a really good uh, visual um, help. I'm going to add this to my page. Here it is, right down here. I'm just going to scroll up. Now, I can change this a little bit. Websites, when I collect them, I like to have all the top bars the same color just to help me easily identify websites and so I'm changing that to green just using that option. I can also go into here and change the description or the title. I'm going to change the description because it doesn't say what uh, part I'm after here. Um, I'm going to put good info about recruiting in WW1. And that'll just help me when I come back to look for that for my project. I'm going to click OK. And now I can see that little uh, text reminder at the bottom there. If I don't want this in this spot, it's easy enough to bring up the little um, square arrows and drag things across and drop them to another spot. Anytime I want to move it, I just wait for that little dashed box to come up and it'll fit right in. I can also drag it right out of this page and drop it into a different one if I want. Uh, oh, there, you can see it's going to go into the general page if I go across and have a look. There it is there. Once I click on this, when the hand comes up, it'll take me straight to the website that I want. As easy as that. Thanks for watching.